Sanyal, Assistant Professor in St. Martin's Engineering College. So, located in Canada. Okay, so today we discuss the topic of beta functions. You see here. Properties of beta functions here. 
material properties of properties of beta functions properties of beta function you see in the first one we have a symmetric property for beta function say which is beta of n comma n is equal to beta of n comma n so which is known as symmetric property of beta function which is known as symmetric property of beta function so now we can do this result here you see here so here what is the basic definition beta of n comma n say which is integration of 0 to 1 integration of 0 to 1 x power n minus 1 into 1 minus x whole power n minus 1 dx n minus 1 dx so this is the basic definition of beta function so what we have to prove in the RHS side we have to prove beta of n comma n have to prove beta of n comma n. So for this, the suitable substitution is we are taking in this function. So here put 1 minus x into any other variable that is say y here. So here, what is here? x is equal to 1 minus y and from this minus dx is equal to dy. Minus dx is equal to dy. So for this here dx is equal to minus dy. So next we have to change the limits here. Next we have to change the limits. So what are here x variable limits? The lower limit is 0. So x is 0. Then what is about the y limit here? If x is 0, what is about the y you can get here? You see here 1 minus 0 is equal to y. So y is 1. Y is 1. And similarly, the upper limit of x is 1 here. So here x is equal to 1. Then, what about the y value here? For here, 1 minus 1, we can get here 0. Now, we have to convert the variable y into another variable y. So, we have to change the limits also. Now, here, the lower limit is 0. Now, it's here 1. And here, upper limit is 1. Now, it's here 0. Now, you see here. Now, what we can get here? Beta of m comma n, say, which is integration of, what is lower limit here? 1 to 0 and in place of x, what are the right of x here? 1 minus y whole power m minus 1 and similarly 1 minus x. What is 1 minus x here? y whole power n minus 1 and dx. What about dx here? Minus d1. Minus of d1. Now we see here. So we have a property that, so here this is integration of 1 to 0 taking minus outside so here y power n minus 1 1 minus y whole power m minus 1 dy so we have a property that integration of a to b f of x dx which is equal minus of b to a f of x dx therefore here minus is there we have to interchange the limits here integration of 0 to 1 y power n minus 1, 1 minus y whole power m minus 1 dy. You see, this is nothing but the basic definition of the beta function in terms of y. Say this is beta of n comma n. Beta of n comma n. Therefore, the symmetric property proved here, this is the one, beta of n comma n is equal to beta of n comma n. So this is the first property which is known as symmetric property of beta function. Now next we have to move to the a second property of beta function. You see here, the second property of beta function. The second property is beta of n comma n beta of n comma n which is equal to into integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin of 2n minus 1 theta into cos of 2n minus 1 into theta of 
dx. So it is known as the second property of beta function. So now we can prove this result by taking the definition of beta function. So we have beta of n comma n is integration of 0 to 1 x power n minus 1 into 1 minus x whole power n minus 1 dx. Now here the suitable substitution is in place of x. You see here the result in terms of theta here. The result in terms of theta. That's why we have to convert into a variable in the form of theta here. Say x is equal sin square theta. So this is a suitable substitution for proving the result here. Put x is equal sin square theta. Then you see what about the dx here? dx is equal so 2 into sin theta again by chain rule. Derivative of sin theta is cos theta dt. Again by chain rule, derivative of sin theta is cos theta dt. Now, so this is substitution the suitable substitutions here. Integration of 0 to 1 x sin square theta whole power m minus 1 and 1 minus x 1 minus sin square theta n minus 1 and dx here 2 into sin theta cos theta and here d theta. Now you see here, you see here, so which is equal, so 2 is a, a constant taking outside from the integration that is 2 into integration of 0 to 1 and the first sin 2m minus 1 theta and c, that is that 1 minus sin square theta which is cos square theta means cos square 2n minus 1 so we have 2n minus 1 theta here so we can get here 2 now sin theta cos theta and here d so which is equal 2 into now so we have to change the limits also here so starting only you see the limits here so what are the limits here you see what is the lower limit of x here? x is equal to 0. Now, put here x is equal to 0. What is the theta value here? Theta is also 0. And see the upper limit of x is here 1. Now, substitute it here. What you can get here? 1 is equal to sin square theta. So, whenever you can get the value of 1 in case of sin, that means theta is possible, that is pi by 2. Now, so what you can get here? The limits. See here in terms of theta, lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi by 2 and here you see sin, mm -hmm. so a power m into a power n, so which is a power m plus n, that is 2 power m minus 2 plus 1, so we can get 2m minus 1, so directly here we can write as sin of 2m minus 1 theta cos of 2h minus 1 theta, so which is you can get as d theta. Now, so which is the a second result of beta function, which is known as the second property, that is beta of n comma n is equal to into integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin of 2m minus 1 theta cos of 2h minus 1 theta into d. That is d. This is property number 2. So next we have third property next here we are having the third property which is you see third property of beta function beta of m comma n beta of n comma n is integration of 0 to infinity y power m minus 1 by 1 plus y whole power m plus n d y power m minus 1 by 1 plus y whole power m plus n into d1. Now, you see similarly we are having the uh, properties is there and here next one we have the uh, relation between next concept is gamma function is there 
that is second type of special function and moreover the beta function having the another name is uh, linear of first kind linear integral of the first kind so thank you this is the recession